I think there's actually much harsher um, physical beauty or physical uh, things on men. I think dad bods are in, and I don't think that's true. <laughs> okay. Stop the cap. Yeah. Um, I'm disagree. not capping. I feel like no. that's so in. Like on TikTok women, right now, women everyone's say talking that, about but it's dad not. bods. Really? You like, have to look at movies. Uh-huh. Like, have you noticed that they're making the female leads in rom-coms more mid? You know, like Amy Schumer. Yes. Yeah. However, however, the men are not changing. Like, they're still they're not, hot. Yeah. They still have six-packs. Like, at the, I mean, it's okay if you don't get it as a woman. Like, not all of us are going to get the dude with a six-pack. But it's like, those dudes are, like, objectively sexy. I have arguments about this all the time mm-hmm. online. So it's like, the, you know, dad bod, like through the years having a child we work out less but i just we love each other that much like you know okay, yeah. 15 pounds right but yeah, again, objectively like would i choose a dude with a dad bod if i was single over due to the six-pack like, no no way like what's, I, why I, do you have that no i i agree <laughs> yeah. but let's also agree that you know it's more common for a woman to date a man with an incredible personality and a great life and this and that and the other thing with less of the looks you know whereas for a guy looks are a huge proponent i think they, they, I, I don't think so disagree. like have you, you seen disagree? the amount of like okay have you seen the amount of single men remember i said 60 percent from 18 to 29 this is like pew research data that just came out and i'll show you guys all this after the show like they're single and they're not even looking there's an element of nihilism because a lot of men are invisible to women there's no. other data too only one in three and this was actually like per the state of california but i mean i you could just like see in public if you listen to your ovaries how many men you'd say yes to how many men you would say no to <laughs> so it's like one in three and one in five men has sexual access right and, and part of that one in one three, in three stuff, and one in five men what does that mean so it's a because it's a reference range right okay. so i've met i've seen studies where it's um as stringent as one in five men are having well, okay. sex and as like liberal as one in three men are having sex right okay but then that with that one in three stat it's actually like one in three men either hasn't had sex in the last year or is a virgin by age 30 right do you see like where this the stuff is a little bit we we, like we like to say yeah you know i would go for a guy that was a little bit not as attractive who just had all the the great stuff but Go to the info are graphics. we actually doing it? Because at the end of the day, like the men that yeah. you're picking, I can speak for myself. Cute. I am like I I a hundred percent am. My boyfriend is five seven. I've never dated a boy that's over five seven. Hold ever. on, hold on. Like Just I don't mean height. Like is his face cute to you? My current boyfriend, yes. The other ones, I've always dated men who are like boys who are. Yeah much less attractive to me and in my personal opinion and i feel like maybe some of you guys can agree with this yeah. i like dating people that i am more attractive than yeah well, well hold on hold on but you like leverage that's fine but it's like hold on wait a minute <laughs> yeah you talked true. about you talked about those guys right you said your boyfriend right now you mm-hmm. like his face yes you I said love the face. last guys you're like eh. but that's what i'm saying like where but are I they now them at the time where are they but the but personality like, broke the deal it was not the the yeah the face. it wasn't the look no, no no like i'm saying like <laughs> okay, that's well. That might be fair. That might be fair. I'm just saying. I think it's possible that we're choosing men that we find attractive, and we like to say like we'll go for like the broke sweet dude. Eh. And also, yeah, women, like, also I don't want a broke like, sweet dude. I want a hardworking man. Like, well, also, it, women overrate themselves in terms of their own physical attractiveness. That that's that is is that true? Yeah, Probably. like we yeah, have girls come on the show that say no, they're tens. But like, talk to most women because um. It's like this weird thing happens when you hit a certain age um, where women can't psychologically comprehend or process like, oh, I'm not as beautiful as I used to be, right? Yeah. Like I peaked at 24. I'm completely okay with it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of single older women freaking out on TikTok over that stuff. Yeah. So like in order to cope with that, that like I age, maybe I don't have the guy that I want, they'll start to go through these mental gymnastics and be like, no, no, no like, I'm, I'm like I'm a 10 because I like inside, like that makes me 10 outside. No, like beauty is a harsh judge and some of us just don't have it. So a lot of women are like that. Is there data statistics that show that? I mean, we'd have to ask Rolo Tomasi, so <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to find out for you. I have a question. What's mm-hmm. up? Have you guys seen, um, there's this new website, and I, some guy made it, and um, the, it's like... The calculator, the yeah. delusion calculator. Have you guys seen the delusion calculator? <laughs> so my boyfriend... I don't want to look at it either. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. I want to say, like, I can find... He's, like, 11% of the population or something. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. like... I don't know. It just, looks wise. Should, is that what that means? So it's a calculator. Do you want to explain yeah, it? I feel like you, you could explain it, it better. Do it. It's People basically like a delusion it. calculator um, where women maybe can later. put in their ideal man, men and see what percent of the world is uh, actually. Basically, and they the, have one for women too. It's in the yeah. well. It's it's within the United States, and the metrics are uh, age, height, income, race. Uh, I'm trying to like, is he obese? Yeah, is he married? Like, body style, is he, like, how many of us, like real talk, like how many of us are trying to pursue obese men? Right. Nobody. Zero. Right. Okay. 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 Next question. How many of us are trying to pursue 
overweight men. That might be different. Not me. Not you? Okay, 73.6% of the American population is overweight to include obesity. You see what I'm saying? So, like, we're like, yeah, well, like, we would forgive his looks. But are we doing it, though? And it's okay to have well, those well, standards. But, but that's, that's different. I you, know, I, you know, there's weight mm-hmm. and then there's looks because looks you're born with. Mm-hmm. Weight, to me personally, throughout my life, I have had some... Mm-hmm health issues and at a young age i learned to very seriously value my body and how i treat it i exercise religiously i try to eat very well it's very important to me to treat my body well it's a vessel that god gave me and it's important to treat it well i think that the majority of overweight people do not treat their body well Mm -hmm. and if you're not eating you're not or you're not eating well and you're not exercising you're probably not respecting your body that's the deal breaker for me if you are a big boned person who takes care of yourself and you know eats well works out then yeah i i and you have a great personality i could see myself being with someone like that but someone who does not take care of themselves no yeah yeah i think that's where the guys are coming from because like most dudes would uh most dudes would date and also marry too because it's like they associate marriage with sex they're like oh like if i marry her she's gonna sleep with me right most of those guys they would date or marry um the in general the male population they would date and or marry an overweight or obese woman right Mm -hmm. whereas like for us we're like no 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 no. like that's not gonna fly so that's a lot of the times what people are talking about but i mean eggs are expensive sperm is cheap that's a common phrase that's used I don't know if you guys get that phrase. Do you guys get that phrase? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, you know, it'd be like that. All I'm saying is be worth it. Like you can't demand, you know, a a high value man and then be a low value woman yourself. Like that's just not cool. Right. It's not what I would want for my son. It's just never, it's never going to happen. You're never going to find a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 